Well, hello and welcome to the video short. Today we'll be discussing the product visualizer in the digital edition of the Embroidery Studio. The product visualizer is a tool inside the software that allows you to go in and present to your customers visuals of the designs on the actual products that you're working with. We're gonna go in and I'm gonna select my design that we're gonna to choose today. When you're working inside the Wilcom Embroidery Studio software and you've gone in, you have a design created and you want to show this design to the customer in hoping uh, for a quick approval. This method works very well. Let me navigate up top here at design. Make sure that my auto starting in here is turned on. So once this is done, the next step would be to go in and open up the product visualizer. As I navigate down, this icon here looks like the little t-shirts is the product visualizer icon. And it explains to you here that it's used to edit the current product in the design window. This means that I can add product in the background to be able to send to my customer for viewing. To access this, I'm going to left click on this icon. Of course, at this point here, the docker for the product visualizer appears. Here, I have two tabs. One's for products and one is for settings. The products, as I navigate down, I have all products selected here and what we're going to stitch this on as I navigate down are polos. Click. These are men's polos here as well. And that's going to give me a list of the polos here that are inside my library that I can select from. Click on this first one here. Once I left click this, if you notice on the screen, it changed colors. It did this because now the polo shirt itself is actually on the screen now. This is my product. The next step is to navigate and to choose the settings. The settings I'm able to go in and scroll down and change the color of my garment here by clicking this arrow, choosing a different color. Once I select that color, I'm able now to go in and apply. It applies that color on my screen immediately. The next step is to position the design on the product where it's gonna actually be stitched. As I navigate down, I'm able to go in and click the arrows, 12 and six o'clock, to navigate this in a vertical position. Click my arrow at nine o'clock here to position this into place on the shirt. As I zoom in, here you can see is a perfect placement here for this design and this polo shirt exactly where it's going to be stitched in product. Once I've gone in and set up everything here on my work page, the next step now is to go to my print preview and to set up a print preview for my customer. This requires going to my file drop menu, scrolling down, choose print preview. The print preview settings here, there's an options tab. This options tab, I'm able to go in and I could print out various worksheets here. I can do my approval sheet, production worksheet, production summary, film. This time I just want to choose my approval sheet here and I want to make sure also if I select design that I have my background and my product selected here. And this is going to be again with the approval checked only. As you navigate across under your design tab, you have background and product because this is what I want to see and what I want to send to my customer. Once I click OK for this, now I have the enlarged image of the design on the fabric and I have a full version here or a full screen here of my polo with the design on it here as well. Again, this allows for a quicker approval because the customer can visually see this. They can visually see how nice that looks. You have your names here and if you want to type in a name here, you can just go back to options. If you click on general, you can type in the customer name here also. And once you do that, that's what appears here in the upper right corner as well. It gives you the height and width of the design here. You also have access to, if you have a barcode scanner, you can use your barcode scanner in your system or to retrieve the designs from the system as well, taking it to the embroidery machine as well. So you have these particular options available and this is your approval sheet. So this is how you would go in through the product visualizer and set up an approval sheet for your customer. If you have Outlook connected on your PC, you can send a PDF via email immediately just by clicking on send PDF via email. Or if you want to print this out physically or just print out a PDF document for it, you can print out the PDF document here also. So you have these options available to you that you can send your design approval sheet here to your customers. That's going to do it for this session. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you learned something today. See you next time.